Good morning. The latest issue of Wave Magazine, a health and wellness publication put out by the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority and Winnipeg Free Press, featured an article on pink eye something some parents are quite familiar with. Author Audra Kolasar joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. So first of all, what is pink eye? Well, pink eye is an inflammation of your conjunctiva, which is the real name for pink eye is conjunct conjunctivitis. So our, on the whites of your eye, you have a little membrane as well as on the inside of your lids. And it's just something's irritating it. Okay, so what causes it? Because there's a few different things. Right, so some people who have allergies um, will f experience pink eye when they, during allergy season. So an allergen like dust or pollen will come in, irritate their eye, and they're, so they'll start to see the symptoms. You can also get it from an irritant such as smog or smoke. Oh. Then there's also the contagious side of pink eye, and that's caused by either a bacterial or a virus infection. And those would be kind of the same germs and common colds and flus? Yep, absolutely. So what's the difference between the two? How do you know if you have one or the other? Well, if you know you have allergies, then um, you can kind of, ex a lot of people experience this just as part of their allergies. So during allergy season, you'll see it, you often will get it in both eyes at the same time. And once the, your, the allergens have left or you've removed yourself from them, you'll recover quite quickly from it. Whereas with bacterial or viral pink eye, um, it usually starts in one eye, you see a lot more drainage, so you get white or yellow kind of discharge coming out of your eye, Yikes. and then it can spread to the other eye if you uh, don't take preventative measures. So are kids more susceptible to it? Anyone can get pink eye. Um, you see it in newborns all the way through the age spectrum. We hear about it mostly from kids just because sometimes our hand washing isn't as great as it needs to be, so it can spread quite quickly amongst a group. And the busy little hands, touching yes. absolutely everything. <laughs> yeah. So as a parent, uh, you notice your kid has a little bit of a red eye. Are they going to feel anything themselves that they might be complaining about? Or? Often kids, anyone will say that it feels like they have sand in their eyes. So there's oh. discomfort, it, their eye feels probably dry, not pain so much, but irritating. Um, the whites of your eye will become red, it can become a little bit swollen, and with bacterial infections you'll see some uh, drainage, so either that white or yellow crust. Sometimes kids will wake up in the morning and their eyes kind of sealed shut. Oh, geez. So, yeah. So how do you stop it from spreading if you have other people in the house? <laughs> Hand washing is absolutely the best thing you can do. Good hand okay. washing. Anytime you touch your eye, and it's amazing how many times in your day you touch your eye without even realizing. So just really good hand washing. Um, if you're a contact wearer, you don't want to wear your contacts while you have pink eye because you can have uh, the infection on the contact and then reinfect yourself oh. once you put your contacts back in. Things like makeup, sharing makeup, uh, you don't want to do that. Or if you're using makeup when you have pink eye, you want to throw that out and buy new stuff. Oh, after it's treated. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, because you could reinfect yourself. That's an important point. Mm -hmm. So if anybody has any questions, they can go Health Links. Yeah, Health Links Info Sante. If you're having any symptoms, you're not really sure what's, what's going on, you can call one of our nurses and we're happy to talk you through it. Great, and we have the information up on breakfasttelevision.ca and the newest issue of WAVE is now out. It's a summer article featuring on active living, a gluten-free life style and workplace stress always a big one so you can pick those up on newsstands in health clinics mcnally robinson and through the winnipeg free press and we have all that up on breakfast television thank you so much thank you we're taking a quick break stay with us